Right, hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you the inside of my Yolam smoke detector and beacon. We'll start with the Yolam. I've already unscrewed them all, so just to save time in the video. Right. There. Right. Here we go, here's the inside of it. Here we have the positive and negative terminals here. We have the um, volume control. Here's the tone dip switches. And here's the main brains. I'll, I'll show you quickly how to change the tone on it. It might be quite obvious, but I'll still do it. If I connect it. Bear with me for a moment. That's one tone. So to change the tone, all you need to do is um, push one of the switches. Right, the, the tone's been changed now. Let's see what it sounds like now. So that's how you change the tone. If I hold it up to the window, you're able to see that the speaker or the sounder is just there. The red wire is the positive to the sounder, and the white wire is the negative. Um, there's space here for an extra set of tone dip switches and volume control. Oh, I mean, uh, terminals. Right, on to the smoke detector. This is the casing of it. That's what you would see normally. The indicator LED is there to say if it's in fire. And it, it, you might not be able to see it, but on these sections here, it says "Do not paint." Where did it focus? Where did it focus? No, it will not focus still. Right, let's take the cap off. Right, here's the LED right here, and this section here is the filter, it is safe to touch. So if I just remove the filter, there, and here's the filter. If you're using deodorant to set the detectors off, then you will need to clean this every once in a while. And here's the main detector. It's best if you do not touch the um, the thing in the middle because that, if that gets moved, your detector is broken. Full stop. This is the thing that actually detects the smoke. There is a a laser LED on both of these that can eat, that can see each other. Once smoke passes through, it breaks the um, the sight of the LED, setting the detector off. Right, onto the beacon. Here's the casing of it. Again, it says do not paint here. On here it says, um, well, on here there is a, um, a special hole where, they, where you can tighten it to lock it onto a base. There's also one on the smoke detector right there. Right, let's remove the cover. Right, here's the beacon. Where the screw drop? There it is. Here are the eight LEDs to flash, uh, right in the middle. This is the brains of the entire thing, right here. Small black chip. There are also two capacitors. I'm not going to take the base off. Here, the circuit board off. But here are the uh, the terminals, and then there's also a little section here where the uh, the um, 
where the address will be set if I turn it over. So these are the address cards right here, where the, where the address buttons. Uh, okay, no, it does not want to focus whatsoever. Uh, which way around that way? So this is one of the bases. I'm just going to quickly take you through what, where the uh, terminals are. Positive L1 right here. Earth terminal. Negative, which is L2 here. And then two spare terminals, plus R and minus R. This is the expert card right here. Right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.